Well, a lot of interest and response to another story CBC News broke last night about the possible infiltration of the Canada Revenue Agency by organized crime. While the CRA suggested it would be irresponsible to suggest such a thing today, the minister responsible had a very different take. Senior investigative correspondent Diana Swain has the latest. Things weren't looking good for Niccolo Rizzuto in 2007. The Montreal mob boss was in jail on racketeering charges, and Canada Revenue Agency had a lien on his home for more than one and a half million dollars in unpaid taxes. And yet somehow he received a tax refund of nearly four hundred thousand dollars. An auditor with CRA Special Enforcement focused on major tax investigations found out about the check and got it back. In an exclusive interview with CBC, that auditor, now retired Jean-Pierre Paquette, said he's concerned the mafia may have found its way inside CRA. C'est sûr que le nom là, a été beaucoup publicisé suite aux arrestations. Puis je veux dire, regardez, ce n'est pas, pas M. Joe là, là, quand même. Là, on se comprend bien. Là. Alors, c'est peu probable que ce soit une erreur, selon vous. Si on regarde ça de cet œil-là, là, je me pose de sérieuses questions. When we first broke this story yesterday, CRA said privacy rules prevented it from talking about the check and that it was irresponsible to suggest there was anything inappropriate in CRA's dealings with Rizzuto. Today, the federal revenue minister is striking a very different tone. Carrie Lynn Finley acknowledged the check should not have been sent and in a statement said, this government considers any misconduct by tax officials unacceptable. Those responsible for misconduct must be held accountable. And we are committed to cracking down on crime and protecting the integrity of our tax system. But a reorganization of resources within CRA means the Special Enforcement Unit, which discovered that check, has since been shut down. It really puts into question whether the government really is serious about going after organized crime and uh, being tough on crime. In the meantime, six former employees of CRA's Montreal office are already facing criminal charges from an earlier investigation. Diana Swain, CBC News, Toronto.